What's up internet, this is Zava from MyDevotees.com here and today we're going to be doing a comparison between the iPhone 4S and its successor, the iPhone 5. So we're going to be comparing the displays and we're also going to be doing a few performance tests along with a few benchmarks. So the first test we're going to be doing is that we're going to be opening up the same applications on both the phones and we're going to be seeing as to which one uh, opens the same application first. So the first application we're going to be opening up is going to be the camera, the stock camera application. Let's go. Alright, so the iPhone 5 actually marginally, uh, you know, bet the iPhone 4S. Uh, and let's try opening an application like Google Chrome. Alright, there we go. And uh, I guess it's the same web page. Yeah, the same web page is opening up on both the phones. And the iPhone 5 won again. So it was not all that no, no disable, but yeah, it actually did win. Alright, so let's try opening up a memory intensive application like Google Racing 2. And uh, as you can see, the iPhone 5 is actually leading with uh, quite a bit of time. And uh, yeah, well, actually, the iPhone 5 bet the iPhone 4S this time uh, with a good amount of margin. So that was about the first test. Now let's take a look at the displays in both the phones. All right, so, well, I can actually notice a little bit of difference in the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5 display. Of course, we've got a real, uh, more of real estate in the iPhone 5. Uh, sorry for that, but the iPhone 5's display is a little bit more saturated compared to the iPhone 4S's display. But it's not all that saturated like some of the Samsung smartphones. It's just perfectly, perfectly saturated, at least for my liking. And uh, yeah, well, that's about it. All right, so we're going to be doing a Siri test now. What's up? Let's see. What's the weather like in New York City? Okay, here's the weather for New York. Okay, New York here's the weather for New York. New York through Tuesday. All right, iPhone 4S wins this time. What's the height of LeBron James? LeBron James is six foot eight. All right, they just seem to be head to head and the loading times are a little different but uh, alright let's try something else what is 6201 plus 7800 okay here, here goes. you go okay I guess the iPhone 5 is better with math so that's about the series speed test. It's actually not very scientific, but I thought that some people would ask about it, so I did it anyway. And I did the ca test uh, off camera as well on the iPhone 4S one sometimes, and the iPhone 5 one sometimes. So it's actually pretty much head to head. Now let's do some browser speed tests. We're going to be opening abidevotees.com, and uh, well, it seems that the iPhone 4S won this time. Let's try opening up engadget.com. So it's loading, and the iPhone 5 won this time. So it's pretty much head to head again. All right, now let's do the benchmarks. I just downloaded Geekbench and let's take a look at the specs of both these phones. The iPhone 4S has the A5 chip clocked at 800 megahertz along with uh, 500 megabytes of RAM. The iPhone 5 has the A6 chip clocked at 1.3 gigahertz along with one gigabytes of RAM. So now let's run the benchmarks. All right, so the iPhone 5 is done and the iPhone 4 is still loading. So the iPhone 5 scored a whopping 1642 compared to the 6 33 of the iPhone 4s. So the iPhone 5 totally, totally blows away the iPhone 4s in this test. All right, now let's do the browser mark test. Let's get started without any further delay. We're going to be taking a look at a few dances. This is going to do so as to perform the test. All right, so the iPhone 5 scored a whopping 191,000 compared to the 105,000 of the iPhone 4s. So it's almost, almost a double. Now we're going to be doing another web-based test and that's going to be the Sun Spider test. So in this test, uh, you know, it calculates the time. So the lesser the time it is, the better it is. So the test is running already on the iPhone 5 and it's taking a little bit of time to do it on the iPhone 4S. And there we go with the results. The iPhone 5 scored 922 milliseconds compared to 1823 milliseconds on the iPhone 4S. So that's almost double the performance. 
So to sum it up, the iPhone 5 actually blows away the iPhone 4s in terms of benchmarks, but in real life examples, the iPhone 5 is just a little faster than the iPhone 4s because it has to handle the more pixels. So that's about this whole video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been IBS 511. Take care.